Hi, I'm Faith Anna, KD3Z, and welcome to hamradio.world. Today we are going to be installing a piece of equipment, which is in this box, that allows you to tap into the internal RF on the ICOM 7300, which allows you to use an SDR as a pan adapter. This is the PTRX 7300 from Radio Analog, and let's see how to install it. So first off, let me just say that you're not going to need to solder or drill any holes, so that makes it nice and it's easily reversible if you want to take it out. Now it comes in these four pieces which are really simple, and you're going to need to unscrew the top panel on the 7300, so it's nice if you have like a lid from a nut jar or something to put your screws in because there's a lot of them. So, let's get started. Cue up the music. That was a lot of screws. So, now, we got to install this thing. To put this thing in, we first need to take out the jack for the auto tuner. So we're just going to slip this off and unconnect it from the other end. And we're going to set that aside because we'll need that for later. Now we take this jumper and the PC board and take either end of the jumper and attach it to this connector right here. And we're going to slide this whole thing right in there. And then where we took out the auto tuner jack on the other side, um, at J331 we're going to plug in the other end of this. Now this gray cord coming from uh, 1431, we're going to unplug that and stick it in this spot right here. Might be a little tough. Okay, and then we're going to take this little jumper and we're going to plug the golden part into this other golden part. And the jack where we took the gray cord, we're going to plug the other end of this jumper. And then this, oh, this um, connector here, we're going to take our auto tuner jack and we're going to plug it in to that little connector and then you can use your auto tuner and this is the coax basically for your SDR and you plug that into the jack right next to it and not only is it really easy to install it's really easy to take apart so you're just going to want to unplug your coax thing and the auto tuner jack and we're just going to reverse the process. So we're going to take this cord out and then we replace the gray cord back where it was in the first place at um, J1431. There we go. Unplug this end of the jumper. Slide this thing out. You might need a little screwdriver to help you start it. And you can set that aside and plug in your auto tuner. Slide it on down. Oops. And then just get the wires so they're not hanging out. And that's how easy it is to put this thing in and take it out. Um, it doesn't require soldering or drilling, so that also helps speed up the process as well as make it easier. 
So I went ahead and put this back in because we want to see how it works with our RSP2 SDR. And this thing works by sampling the internal RF of the radio after the um, front end filter and the low noise amplifier. And it samples both the transmit signal and the receive signal. So you can view your transmit signal as well as the receive signal that's coming in. So uh, that's pretty much how it works. And then the last thing that you would have to do is put the top back on and screw it back in. But there will be more videos coming soon about us using this with the SDR. And be sure to like and share this video and subscribe. But when you subscribe, don't forget to like ding that little bell, like push the bell. That way you can see when we post new videos. 73.